We know that we should develop compelling digital learning solutions that are inclusive. What exactly does that mean? Here's a quick list. Not everyone can see the images you have included in your design. Use your authoring tool to provide alternate text for those resources. Also, some people use screen readers. Alternate text for on-screen text is required for accessibility. Not everyone can hear narration being read. Be sure to include captions for persons who don't hear as well as others. Not everyone can use a mouse. Make sure your interactions have keyboard shortcuts and make sure you allow learners to tab to buttons instead of just clicking. Being able to read text over a background color or image is something we take for granted. Text should contrast the background at a ratio of 4.5 to 1. Also, use larger fonts and line spacing of 1.5. This will make it easier for learners to read. Selecting a font that is easy to read, like Futura or Avenir, is a good choice for inclusive e-learning. Often I use cutout characters to represent the characters in my course. Don't make the mistake of only selecting characters from one ethnic group. Change it up with characters who are diverse in their ethnic background and at least representative of the region you are designing for. For example, about 5% of Canada, where I'm from, is First Nations. Avoid pop culture references that new citizens may not understand. A funny joke in your culture may land flat for someone who didn't grow up where you're from. This could make them feel excluded. Lastly, watch out for widgets or learning interactions that are not designed with accessibility in mind. For example, drag and drop interactions are great, but not everyone can use them. Choose another type of interaction instead. There are more considerations to make than this short list, so be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications to get notified when I create more videos about e-learning design.